Hello, and welcome to the Knitting with Cat Hair podcast. My name is Nikki. I'm also known as Knitting with Cat Hair on Instagram and Cat Hair Knitting on Ravelry. We are coming to you from Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, which lies atop the traditional lands of the Tegmishing Anishinaabek people, where I live with my partner, our two daughters, and our five cats. <laughs> Hence the name of the podcast, as I'm always finding cat hair in my knitting. And today I have a special guest with me. My, Hi. my mom, Lori, <laughs> she's staying with us for a short period of time this season. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to sit down and film our fourth annual seasonal outside, outside, in outside the freezing snow. our butts off <laughs> video. <laughs> and just to take you through some of the uh, things that we've been making, I'm going to be focusing mostly on gift knits and mom's going to be focusing on some, a gift knit and monogamous year long knitting and a huge accomplishment <laughs> it's, it's not almost even done. done almost done yeah <laughs> all right so we'll just <clears throat> jump right in with what we're wearing mom you can go first okay um i'm gonna attempt to stand up here this is my walter sweater i knit one before it's a free pattern on ravelry by jose paquin and I knit it in um, a blue 100% wool merino, I believe it was. Anyways, by Georgian Bay Fibers, which is no longer um, active. And I love the sweater so much, but I made it way too big for myself. So I re-knit it in another um, smaller size, and I, I'm really enjoying wearing it. I highly recommend it. It's an easy knit. It's not too complicated. Um, I used uh, yarn that I picked up in Ecuador, so it's uh, 65% alpaca and 35% unknown. The interesting thing about this yarn is when I went back to buy some more for another project, it's called Real Alpaca is the label, and when I went back, um, the content had changed. So it went from 65% alpaca to 45% alpaca and and what's the equivalent? 55% uh, some kind unknown. of acrylic, unknown. Oh. Wow. So uh, check your labels, people. <laughs> Who knows? Other countries might be changing the actual content of the wool, even though you're buying the same label and you think you're getting the same stuff. Wow. So that was interesting to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That color is so beautiful. Yeah, your favorite color. That's why. Mm. <laughs> And what, um, do you know the color name? Like, is there a color names on them? No, they're numbers, and I honestly, I don't have the labels All right. left. And what are you wearing, Nikki? Um, today I'm wearing my, it's a Jennifer Steingass Bright Feather, that's the name. And, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to stand up because I'm worried I'm going to bump the table and screw the camera up. It took us forever to get this <laughs> set up. <laughs> So anyways, you can see that there's these beautiful feathers come closer here on the sleeves and along the yoke and there's nothing on the bottom. There's no color work or anything. And I knit mine up out of two colors of Nutidin by Honor Uh The brown is called Manning and the pink is Vilgot. It's just this really, really pale pink. It's really that I pretty. I really love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the combination of brown and pink. Yeah, considering you don't wear pink, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's very beautiful. Thank you. And on my head, I'm wearing the same hat I wore last year when I filmed. This is, I think it's called the Junkie, Chunky Dean Street hat. And I knit it up out of, uh, it was like an alpaca acrylic mix. I can't remember the name of the, I'll put links down below to all of our project pages if we have them. <laughs> and you can see the details if you're curious. All right, so let's start with. Uh, I guess finished objects. I guess yours isn't 100% finished, so I'll go first then. Uh, I have two finished objects today. So I did finish a pair of Kiwi socks, Kiwi vanilla socks that I knit up for my our youngest out of, hmm, I didn't bring the label. I think it's it's a cotton polyester nylon mix by Mm. Shakamara Regia. Yes. Tutti Frutti colorways. So this is, like I said, this is the Kiwi colorway. And then for the heels, toes, and cuffs, I used a Drops Fable in the color, I don't know, white or off-white or something like that. Anyway, so yeah, this is going to be a gift knit for our youngest. 
and I'm happy to have them off the needles. And so I finished another gift knit. This is the Ranunculus. Yes. <laughs> the Ranunculus, a pattern by Midori Hirose. It's very popular. I think this is my fourth Ranunculus that I've knit. And this was a request by my friend. She supplied the yarn and asked that I knit it in two different colorways. So the, this is the Ranunculus. See the lovely texture and lace details on it and she wanted a crop version just like mine my summer version and she requested that i do the top part in the solid and then the bottom in variegated all the yarns are from zen yarn garden i have the colors here in the skeins it comes in a tr uh, triple pack so there is a third color that's kind of like this bright bright pink and she didn't want that color in there so she just wanted these two and she was like i don't care if it pools you don't have to alternate i alternated skeins anyways because i'm not a huge fan of pooling and so yes i sent her a picture <laughs> ahead of time before i finished the body at the bottom part when i had started the variegated just to see if she still liked it and it was turning out the way she wanted it to and she said it was beautiful so she's happy with it then i'm happy with it and this is, like I said, Zen Yarn Garden. It's their 100% superwash merino. Yeah. So those are my two finished objects. Do you want to go into works in progress, Mom? Okay. Do you want me to start with the, the little one? You do what you want. <laughs> whatever you want. Okay. I'm starting with the little one. There's, sorry, there's snow on it. It's snowing. You guys probably can't tell because we're sitting in the trees. Yeah. <laughs> But it's snowing. <laughs> and I'm sorry I'm squirreling on the, the chickadees over here. They're just so cute. They're all fluffed up. Okay, so um, I'm making a pair of socks. Just vanilla socks. But what I'm doing, I want to tell you that I've been doing this for a while. I am so into making socks with mohair. Held double with something else. And so this is a no-name mohair. And this is Malbrico uh, yeah. sock. sock yarn but it does not have any nylon in it, correct? That's right. So I think the reason they call it a sock yarn is because it's got a really high twist on it. So it's supposed to be durable, but heads up, if you use it by itself, it's not durable, I've tried, for okay. socks. So I partnered the two together, and this is what I've gotten. And I love the fabric, how it's turning out. It's very dense, almost like it's felted. And uh, it's gonna be so warm. And I started these for me, 64 stitches and they're too big so my husband gets them again he gets all Foiled. the socks <laughs> i know all the nice ones too so next i'm gonna go down maybe four stitches do you think maybe and then um make myself a pair at some point but not right now so that's my first uh whip do you want to do and, your next one or or do you want to do your sock okay i can do i can do a sock so since I've finished the <laughs> pair of socks for my for our youngest, I went ahead and cast on a pair for our eldest, and she loves watermelons. So I chose same co same yarn, cotton by Shakamaya Regia, but this one the is the watermelon colorway. <laughs> and um, yeah, so this is what I have so far. Ooh. I'm knitting them two at a time, so there's a few strings coming off. See? They do look like watermelons, so these black dots are meant to be the seeds. Um, I'm knitting them two at a time from one each end of the ball, so they're going to be, the socks will be moving the patterns or in opposite directions, but I still think they look cute. Can't really tell. Oh, note. <laughs> Nikki had a huge yarn barf on the last ball. She pulled from oh. the center and it just went, ugh. Yeah. And I spent a good while untangling it. Two of us. And I think that was one of the comments I saw about this yarn. I've also read that there can be lots of knots, like as in the yarn has been tied together and not in the right spot. So you mm. could, it could mess up your pattern. So mm -hmm. just something to be wary of. I haven't come across that myself, but yeah. So, and again, for the heels, toes and cuffs, I'm just using a Drops Fable sock yarn in black. Your turn. My turn. Okay, Nikki is a prolific 
multiple knitter. I am a monogamous knitter. I might add a pair of socks, or but I knit one thing at a time. So I've been working on the Savin by Megan Babin. I'm sure Nikki will pop a picture in so you can have a look at it. Um, I'm using the yarn. Sorry. Um, Briggs and Little Regal. And the colorway is Fundy Fog. It's this beautiful, would you call that heathered, Nikki? Yeah, it's got lots of heathered colors purple. in it. It's just gorgeous, and I love purple, so. And the regal thing. is a, wor I think it's a worsted weight, eh? Do I know? Does it say? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the worsted. Yes, I bought that for you. It's worsted. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was her Christmas present last you. year. <laughs> I'm using it. And um, what do I want to say? Oh, it has a dye lot, etc. But um, I did go ahead and alternate skeins just in case because I didn't want a whole bunch of pooling on the fabric. Or changes in color. Yeah. I've seen that. I don't like that. So um, the pieces are completed, I'm pretty happy to say, except for the neckline. So here is what I have. Get out of the way, lady. <laughs> So this is, uh, is yeah, the, the back? back, yeah, the back and the sleeves. So I've stitched that together. Um, it's all washed and blocked. Nikki did that for me, which was very kind. And the front, it's very long. Yeah. It's going to be like a tunic, which I am okay with because I can wear it with leggings and. Uh, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I have um, a little bit of mess up on the back. <laughs> In one area, I missed a cable, but I don't care. Just <laughs> it's on the back. Yeah. People are not looking at me. They're watching my back, so I don't care. And um, I knit it out of, I, I'm sorry, with uh, 4.5 millimeter needles. That is... American? Don't know. Okay, we don't know. And um, I swatched, I got gauge, go figure, and um, I just knit the pattern. The only thing I did do that um, oh, yeah. I didn't like on the pattern is if I can get I'll closer. pop in a picture of what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Is that where the cable does yeah, it? Yeah, the shoulder. I'll show it so you guys can see what we're talking about and what, why don't you show what you did instead? Okay. So what it says is when you get to um, a cable that you can't repeat, to just knit it, the cable straight up. So you end up with these lines here where the cable is not complete. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the look of that. So what I did was, I, uh, yikes. Yeah, I, you can see where it, the cable stops and then goes straight up. Well, this was all supposed to be straight up cable. What I did on this cable was divide it into two, put a stitch marker, and then I knew that I could still do cables on that side and only had to decrease, I mean, knit straight up on this side, if that makes any sense to you. So you get a much more um, finished look instead of when Nikki shows you the pictures, you'll see it right away. They just cut the cable off just, and knit up. And in right? straight lines, yeah. like of three straight lines. And a, it didn't look I as didn't good. think it looked really finished. So. I guess it's tricky when you're decreasing in cables, though, eh? Yeah. Like, it's hard to keep a pattern. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you did a really good job on that. Improvising. Oh, I know. <laughs> really learning. Yeah. So that's what I did. And um, next year I'll probably, well, hopefully, hopefully I'll be wearing it <laughs> soon. I still have to do the neckline, obviously, and, and piece the rest of the pieces together. But I'm really happy with it. And it's really light, lightweight. Yeah. I was I'm surprised, surprised for, for a wool. So I wonder, like, I, I'm not very good at telling when it's, like, woolen versus worsted spun, but I wonder if it's more woolen spun or something, because that's usually a lighter type of wool. Uh, I more don't know how it. to tell, in all honesty. I'm not experienced enough. <laughs> oh, okay. But we can look that up. Yeah. Um, and then for the seaming, do you want to talk about <laughs> your seaming? Like, what you tried and what didn't work and what you preferred? Uh... 
Because I think you were trying mattress stitch at first. I tried mattress stitch and it it did not work. Um, I was getting one. Um, okay, let me see if I could show the difference. Yes. Yeah. So here is one edge. You can see that edge there is double. And then this edge is single. So what you want to do is you want to have that one row on the inside, the inside row exposed, and this one should be tucked under the other two. So you get a row of three. Mm -hmm. um, I tried mattress stitch and the wider one was popping up. It wasn't staying tucked under, even though I was I was knitting through the behind the first row of stitches in order to get a nice tight fit. I tried that. I tried a base stitch from the inside, did not work. So I resorted to what I do for a living, which is sewing. So what I did was I laid it flat on my lap in my hand, and I actually sewed up and down uh, the length of the fabric instead of across, mm -hmm. and it came out really nice and flat. So I'm really happy with that. I practiced on the back, mm -hmm. so so um, I'm ready to continue. That's my stitch of choice that I'm going to use to do the rest of it, and I think it'll turn out really well. Yeah. So your seamstress background really helped you. Yeah. Right? Because I, I don't think just, I would have been able to come up with that. I should have just done that in the first place instead of freaking around all day. I would have had it done, and you would have seen it. <laughs> Well, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, okay, and I just have one work in progress to show today. It's not nearly as impressive as that. <laughs> but, it's um, still beautiful. So I'll just... Yeah, it is. Okay, firstly, I'm going to show the project bag because it's kind of Christmas. Oh, it's cute. cute. This is Boris the Polar Bear. Uh, the bag is by Blue Rabbit House. She's famous for her um, animal drawings. And... So last year I had finished, I'm making Christmas stockings for the family. It's taken me forever to get to the point where I decided on the patterns, but I have, and now I finished the first one last year. So this is for Lily, our youngest. I can't block it because I don't have blockers big enough for it, but yes. And so this was my first time doing duplicate stitch. I did the name and duplicate stitch, but I'm not 100% yeah, happy you're gonna with change it. it eh? I don't know, like, what do you think? Can you see the lines between the columns? I kind of like it, but it's okay. Anyways, so that was the first one. So then I promptly cast on the one, the next one, which is going to be for my stepdaughter, Abby. I don't know how to show this. Maybe the front. So hers is green. It's a different pattern, if you can tell. They are different. Um, and they look almost reversed. They're not, no? though. Okay. See how... There's large and oh, small yes. stars in yep. this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so <clears throat> this is how far I've come. I've turned the heel. There's a cute little Peary pattern on the bottom, which I love. And then there's options in the pattern for different bands that you can use at the tops and bottoms. And I, I just chose this one. And so I still have quite a ways to go to knit, and then I'll start doing the name. And um, forgot to mention, so I also... doubled the the cuff so I knit um yeah basically double the cuff and then you fold it in and you that's a row of pearl there yeah there's yeah. a pearl oops, oops watch microphone pearl row <laughs> at the edge so it folds in and then I'm thinking I might line it with some material inside as well but that's my job <laughs> oh really are you volunteering you you volunteered me did I uh -huh. oh perfect I forgot about that <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. And I'm knitting this up out of Briggs and Little uh, Sport. And they're all heathered colors. I don't have the tag. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the different colors in there. But it isn't just a green. Oh, it's showing up pretty well in, yeah. in the tree here. Hmm. And cream and the burgundy. The burgundy isn't quite as heathered. No. Lots of cat hair in it. <laughs> really? As per usual. Oh, it's really starting to snow. Um, Briggs & Little is a Canadian company. And very economical. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I will say that this 
the sport is only a single ply so something to be wary of it might not be quite as durable it might pull although i haven't seen any pulling on this one and it's been done for a year not a that year. i handle it much but <laughs> yeah anyways yeah i'm very happy with it it's very rustic yarn but i love the colors it's the closest thing i feel like we can get here that's like from canada that's you know closer to jameson's of shetland or jameson smith type yarn but yeah i think that's it that's all i have wow uh future plans do you have any future plans? yeah i'm jumping on the boucle train i'm telling you i'm gonna be a forerunner well it's already been done i know but <laughs> better <laughs> So what are you doing with Boucle? What are your plans? This is news to me. I don't know. Well, I think I'm a forerunner on the on the mohair socks. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. I want to be. <laughs> Desperately want to be a forerunner. No, that's definitely been done before. But nice try. <laughs> okay. Okay. Boucle and mohair? No, it's already in there. Ugh. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm, I, oh, I go thrifting. <laughs> a bit. A lot. <laughs> a lot. When you're here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you do it at your place, too. Yeah, on, online. Yeah. Anyways. So, fun for me. Um, I always check out the yarns when I go there because you can find some treasures. You didn't bring any treasures to show. No, I left them in the house. But <laughs> I did get a whole bunch of mohair. Last year, I got some boucle, some beautiful dusty blue bouquet, boucle, which I plan on doing something with I'm not sure yet uh, I got some mohairs like I said and I also got some 100% wool I don't think Nikki looked at it she doesn't think it's any lopi no no I think it may be like old school Elenka yeah which is a 100% wool but I got some of that to make a, a hat and I was really happy because it was like two bucks a ball <laughs> or two bucks for two balls or whatever anyways good deal don't forget to check your thrift stores because you never know what you're going to find there and that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So um, what are you planning in the future? Um, I have so many plans. Oh, I'm going to make that vine top. Nikki oh, and I yeah. looked at this. But she'll show you a picture. I'll pop it somewhere. in. It's more of a summer make, but it, it was really mm -hmm. pretty and I feel like it's gone under the radar. That's by Athena... I forget her name. Athena something. She has her own podcast too. We watched it the other yeah. day. That's the first time I'd seen it. She actually um, crocheted her own wedding dress, which was really remarkable in this beautiful sage green. Anyways, you should check her out. I'll put a link. Yeah, so we'll make the vine top. Yes. And how's your um, Jennifer Beale going? You haven't talked about that. Yeah, I didn't do any work on the Jennifer Beale, so I'm not showing it today. But... Um, I've been focused on gift knits and getting the priority knits out of the way and then and then plus you're here and I can't I don't know how you do your cabling <laughs> and still converse because I can't do that like I can't I have to focus and I've been lucky enough to join her at her knit night oh, yeah. uh, on Mondays uh, if you're in the Sudbury area there's a knit night every Monday at the not every Monday oh I'm sorry it kind of changes so but there is one this Monday Mon yes this Monday at the <clears throat> New Sudbury Library, if you're in the area. Yeah. And it starts at, I think we're, what is it, 5.45, 5.45 to 7.45 p.m. Holy crap, it's snowing. It's really snowing now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see it on the camera now. Oh, yeah. Through the trees. But it's not very cold today. No. Which is nice. Yeah. Last year was cold. That was cold. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Jennifer Beale, you're not working on, but the mall is still open for everyone. And Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. I didn't even think so much. <laughs> da -da, da -da. <laughs> so, yes, there is a Jennifer Beale make-along happening over on Instagram, and you can um, join in with any Jennifer Beale pattern. You don't even have to finish it. You just have to post pictures of your works in progress. Uh, we'd love if you did finish it, and I will be drawing prizes at the end of what did I say? September next year. So you have plenty of time. You just have to use the hashtag be along. I'll put it in here. And um, we also have a Slack group as a knitting group, like an online virtual knitting group that anyone is welcome to join. You don't have to be participating in the mail to join. And we'd love to have you. It's, it's a friendly little group and we just share our projects and talk about all the things we want to make, which are endless. <laughs> Truly. So all the links can be found in the description as well for this video. 
And in terms of future, so I'm thinking, I've never done Advent before, or Vlogmas, sorry. I got my first Advent calendar, I splurged, because Mom wasn't going to be with me for Christmas no. this year, so we couldn't knit our Advent no. calendar socks. But anyway, so um, I bought my own Advent calendar from Wild in the Woods, which is a Canadian hand dyer, indie hand dyer, and I've been admiring Serena's work for for years and uh, so I was really pleased to be able to get one of her advent calendars and mom's already had a look through I peeked <laughs> she knows what's in it I don't um, but she says I'll, I'll it's really gorgeous. enjoy it <laughs> it's really gorgeous so yeah. I, was, I was thinking I might if I'm uh, I don't know if I'm organized enough I might try and do like a vlog miss maybe every second day and show you what I get in my advent calendar and just what's happening around our house although we don't really usually have that much happening <laughs> so it might be really boring but we'll see so yeah stay tuned for that and I think that's that's it I have so many future makes I've I mean I've talked about them in the past two videos about all the different things I want to make I've been swatching like crazy but I haven't cast anything on none of those big color work projects <clears throat> yet but I have yarn for them so they'll happen in the new year after Christmas. So, yeah. Anything else? Any share the love today? Okay, you're putting me on the spot because <laughs> I did not prepare. <laughs> We're just sharing love with everyone. How about you? Why don't you give a recommendation today? What like, do you like? What do I like? What podcasts do you like to watch? I like um, The Republic of Me. Yes. Ivana. I really enjoy her. Me too. Uh, I just like the whole content and her weaving just blows Amazing. me away. That I, I really like enjoy that show. I really love The Republic of Me as well. So that was a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I guess, do we have anything else to talk about? This is a short one. We did our gingerbread houses. Oh, yes. We had our fierce competition again. Yes. We're awaiting the verdict. So what we do is we we all decorate an individual gingerbread house or tent or whatever <laughs> she'll put a picture i'll put a picture of our creations and then we send the pictures to a impartial judge sister <laughs> of mine my aunt and then she chooses without knowing whose is whose the best one that one that she liked the best and then that person wins and i am the reigning champion two years in a row Ugh. but we're still waiting the results of this one i don't know mom practiced she upped her game this year you were watching videos weren't you yeah i had this <laughs> idea I knew it. You, know, you know when your house you put it together and it breaks i saw this little idea where you take a dinosaur and you just put the piece that's broken in his mouth and set him beside your house and that's your gingerbread house <laughs> it's clever <laughs> But that didn't happen to you this no, year. No. It didn't break. It <laughs> last didn't. year they did. Yeah, it was a catastrophe last year. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of icing involved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to glue Mending. pieces back together. So, yeah, we're, we're waiting. I'm excited because I never win. Carol. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was lots of fun. Yeah, and we haven't started Christmas shopping or any of that. It's It's rather early. It's still November. It is. We're filming really early this year because mom's visiting. Yeah. Only for a short period of time. So I want to make sure that we, we got something, Did something. In together. Yeah. But yeah, we haven't even decorated. I've no. got our lights up and that's about it. We, our house is not Christmassy. That's okay. It's still fun being here. Yeah. I love being here. No, We yeah, love having great. you. Thanks. And not just for the cooking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she does a lot of cooking. My mom loves to cook. So mm -hmm. she just takes over and I'm fine with that because it's not one of the things I inherited from you no but I did get knitting from you so. yes <laughs> thankful for that yeah okay like a blizzard okay so maybe we should... yeah. <laughs> we're gonna cut it short now <laughs> mascara is um, starting to run gotta go <laughs> <laughs> so we just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas if you celebrate Joyeux Noel and happy holidays and yeah we hope that you have a wonderful season filled with joy and lots of time with loved ones and of course lots and lots of making yes <laughs> happy making bye bye, bye.